What is up guys? Good old fashioned cola. Finally back for some more Animal Crossing. I took a, a nice little three month break, but I figured it was about time that I make my return with the NBA season and all. Uh, oh wow, I have a lot of a lot of unopened mail. I asked your father very sweetly, would what would you like for dinner, dear? No answer. Well it looks like someone's getting meatloaf again. So there. Thanks, Mom. Uh, so first on the agenda, I have to talk about everything that has happened, uh, I guess music-wise, because I don't really do anything else other than work and school in my life. Uh, so I talked about how I was seeing Modest Mouse twice. Both those shows were phenomenal, of course, as Modest Mouse shows always are. Uh, it's been so long now that I can't even, like, remember what was played, uh, I remember certain songs that I got really hyped for. Just go on Setlist FM and look for the two shows they played in Ohio this past summer, I guess you would consider. Late September summer? Not really. It's probably more fall, but sure as fuck felt like summer compared to what it feels like now. Uh, what else is there? Young the Giant. Just saw them with Lights. I wish that Lights would have played more of her old stuff, but I mean, I can't really blame her. Cause she just put that record out last year so you got to get people hyped up on that uh but young the giant were amazing as always i was really glad to hear some of the the new songs like mirror master and uh superposition uh still still wish that they would play crystallized or at least something else other than mind over matter off of mind over matter i love the the title track but i mean I've seen it a bunch of times. You guys should probably switch it up and add some more songs off of that record. Because that is definitely my favorite Young the Giant record. Ugh. Uh, so, on to the next. Should I skip this? Because it's not music related. We're just going to go down the list. Fuck it. I wrote all this out because I have to have structure or else I'm just all over the place. Oh, and I'll just say this. Sorry for taking a break. I, I, nobody asked if I was dead, but I'm not dead. I didn't know we had Dottie in our town. Uh, but Red Dead 2 is next on the list. Uh, I've absolutely loved Red Dead 2. Are you going to tell me how long it's been? I love it when they tell me, It's been 86 weeks! Feels like the sun goes down at the same time every day. It's kind of scary, isn't it? That's fucking funny. Oh, Animal Crossing Switch got announced, I think, during the time... Wake the fuck up. Oh. <laughs> uh, during the time that we were gone. Uh, so I can just say, yes, I'm very hyped. My body is ready. And also, Nintendo just announced yesterday, well, Sony announced they're not going to have an E3 presentation, but Nintendo said, yes, we will be at E3, which is pretty fucking big news, because Nintendo hasn't been at E3 for, like, fucking ten years, it feels like, ever since they did Wii Music. That was one of the worst, by far. If you guys haven't seen the catastrophe that is Wii Music, I think it was Scott the Waz did a video. Uh, I'll try to link it if I, if I can find it in the description. <clears throat> uh, did I... Yeah, I said... Red Dead 2... It's hard for me to play story games because I'm... I'm such a busy person. No, but like... I don't have a great attention span. And then... I'm doing school full-time. I work 24 hours a week. Which is... Already a shit show. Uh, so it's, it's just hard... To do a game with a story... It's hard to get invested and keep going when I have to constantly put it down and pick it up, put it down, put it, pick it up. Uh, which is why I'm so into like Call of Duty and 2K because I can just be like, oh, I'm going to play this for like an hour and then I have to go do homework. Or I'll play it for an hour at night after I do all my shit. Uh, what the fuck? Oh, calves. I could not read my handwriting. Calves are bad. Calves are really, really bad. I thought they were going to be way better. <laughs> not like contenders, but I thought in the shitty, shitty East that they could at least be like the eighth seed. They're, they're not. 
we're all all aboard the Zion Williamson train. I really think Zion Williamson's gonna be transcendent talent, and I would much rather have him than anybody else in the draft. Like R.J. Barrett's good, and if we get the second pick, and whoever gets the first takes Zion, I would not be upset to get either R.J. or Cam, but I mean I would still be pissed that we didn't get Zion. <clears throat> and if we do get Zion, I say Portland's going to say no to this, but we trade Kevin Love for C.J. McCollum straight up because Kevin Love's a Portland guy, McCollum's an Ohio guy. Let's do it. Bring the boy home. I just like C.J. McCollum in general, but uh, Anderson Pack's new album is out today. Oxner, give it a listen. My expectations were really high, so... It's not my favorite album of the year, like I thought it was going to be. I really... How the fuck did you just fall asleep out here? You. You, Groucho, man. <laughs> uh, but anyways, Pac's new album. It's, it's really good if you go in with, like, lower expectations than me, because you guys know how much I enjoyed Malibu. So I was like, this he is the second coming of Christ, but in re reality, he's just a musician that's really talented. Uh, but the last four songs, I think it's like Trippy, and Trippy's got J. Cole on it. Uh, that song with Q-Tip, I can't remember what it's called. It's really fucking good, too. It's like the last four songs are really, really good. Like that last that last stretch of, of songs is really, really phenomenal. Uh... But I don't know if I talked about Trophy Eyes' new album that came out. Uh, I think it came out sometime in June or July or August, some some summer month. Uh, but that is my my album of the year so far. If you guys haven't given The American Dream a listen, go ahead. Don't text me. Go ahead. Give it a listen. It's really fucking good. Uh, Smash Ultimate is looking to be ultimate. <laughs> it's looking to be like... A Smash game that I could see them supporting for a couple of years. Uh, I don't know if Sakurai will end up making more, but I could. I mean, it, it, Nintendo knows Smash is going to sell, so even if Sakurai is not at the helm, I'm sure he'll be some kind of executive producer to make sure shit goes right. Nintendo's not usually one to put out something bad and just say, "Oh well, it'll sell." Uh, but anyways, I talked about how I was seeing Blink-182 in that last City Folk episode, I believe, that I posted. They ended up canceling that show because of Travis Barker. So I did not end up going to Columbus that weekend. I don't remember what I did instead. Probably just sat on my ass and watched TV or something. Which I don't really mind. I, I wasn't really in it for Blink because Blink isn't Blink without Tom. I was more or less in it for State Champs because I didn't get to see them at Warped Tour. But now they're... God damn it. Alrighty, I'm back. Sorry, there was a sock catastrophe, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with that girl. Uh, but anyways, uh, here's a lineup of shows that I'm going to. Uh, Real Friends is on Black Friday. And then it's Trophy Eyes in December... December 6th, I believe. And then the Front Bottoms in Columbus, December 9th. So, that final one, I'm kind of scared, because I'm going to have to drive uh, to Columbus, and I'm hoping there's no snow. Uh, so I'm, like, low-key stressed about that. And then I'm still on the fence. December 1st, Under Oath comes with Dance Gavin Dance and Crown the Empire, and I'm like, ooh, that's really fucking enticing, because I really like Dance Gavin Dance uh, and Crown the Empire. So I'm on the fence. So let me know what I should do. But I'm going to wrap this up because i got to go to work. So, I'm Good Old Fashioned Cola, and I will see you guys next time.